peace be upon you today we're going to talk about a new lesson for tb students today we're going to talk about how to graph or graphing a straight line this lesson for aa students and ai whether you talk standard level or higher level First of all, how to graph uh, a line or linear equation or linear function? We have more than one method. The first one, we can use lines in gradient intercept form. Like if you have this equation, which is y equals mx plus c, you can first of all identify the y-intercept, which is y-intercept could be two, could be positive or negative, then c could be two negative two whatever then you're gonna plot it like the y-intercept means the first point which is zero and two for example in the scenario he said use the y-intercept c to plot the point zero and c that means x should equal zero after that you're gonna use x and y steps from the gradient m to locate another point on the line then you're gonna use the gradient, the slope, could be half, could be 2 over 3, could be 1. And if it's 2 over 3, that means what? You're going you're gonna to move two steps in the positive direction for y axis, and you're going to move three steps for the positive direction for x axis. What if it's negative 1 over 2? Then you're going to move uh, just only negative one step in the negative direction for y axis, and two steps for the x direction in a positive direction. After that, you're going to join these two points. For example, if you have y equals negative half x plus 3, for example, then you're going to graph it like that. Here, you're going to find the y axis, and after that, this is the x axis. Okay, let's see. This is y axis, and here, we have x-axis. First of all, you need to plot that y-intercept, which is here 1 and 2 and 3. Then this is the y-intercept, which is 0 and 3. And after that, this is the first point. And after that, you need to move just only one step in the negative direction for y. And this is just only one step. And after that, let me use different color. This is one step, and after that, two steps in the positive direction for x-axis. One and two. This is the new point, which is two and two. Two on x-axis and two on y-axis. Now you can join between these two lines, which is three and negative two. This is the line. As easy as that. The second method you're going to use the general form. If you have ax plus by equals d, you can find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. Then to find y-intercept, you need to put x equal 0 in the equation, and you're going to solve for y. And to find x-intercept, you're going to use y equals 0 in the equation, in the original equation, and then you're going to find it. Okay? And if you have, for example, 2x plus 4y equals 6, or something like that. Let me use like 2x plus 2x plus 4y equals 8, for example. Then you're going to use the technique we used before, or this technique, the new one. This is y-axis, and then this is x-axis. Following this only, just only the, the, the steps, the main rules, to find y-intercept, to find y-intercept, you're going to put x equals 0 in the equation. Then, and, and when you put x equals 0, the equation becomes that 4y equals 8. Then y equals, divide both sides over 4. Then y equals 2, while x equals 0. Then while x equals 0, y equals 2. And then to find x-intercept, that means you're going to put y equals 0, right? Then... Using same equation, you're going to put y equals 0, then 2x equals 8, 
divided by 2 divided by 2 that represents what represent that x equals 4 then 1 2 3 and then 4 that's it and then you're gonna link between them as easy as that so this is like the main concept behind drafting a, a linear equation we have a new concept or different concept you can use it by the way for example if you have if you have like for example yeah, which means like if you have 2x plus 4y equals 8 same one you can graph a table and then putting values for x and values for y generating values for y then when x equals 0 y should equals 2 and when x equals 1 then y should equals 6 over 4 which is 3 over 2 and so on and when x equals negative 1 that means what that means it's 10 over 4 10 and 10 over 4 represented by 5 over 2 i'm sorry yes 5 over 2 because when it's negative then becomes like that directly negative 2 plus 4y equals 8 then after that 4y equals 10 because you're going to add the 2 then divided by 4 divided by 4 y should equals uh, 10 over 4 which is 5 over 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 after that you're gonna plot the points on the uh, coordinate plane after that linking between the points this is like an extra method if you need to use okay what's about this example he said right now graph these two equations or these two functions which is linear functions by the way okay let's graph the y-axis and after that the x-axis this is the y-axis and after that this is x-axis this is question a by the way and after that you're gonna use the gradient intercept rule which is first of all you're gonna mention that this is the y-intercept equals 2 and after that negative 1 which is just only one step in the negative direction for y after that three steps one two three okay again one step because it's negative one over three then just only one step in the negative direction then this is the first step in the negative direction for y because if you remember m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and that represents the change in uh, in y axis over the change on x axis that leads us to this point which is 3 and 1 after that linking between these two points linking between these two points that's it what about question b question b you notice that this is the standard form okay then question b finding x intercept by putting y equals 0 then when y equals 0 you're gonna cancel this term after that 2x equals 12 then 2x equals 12 that lead us to that x equals 6 this is the first point which is 6 and 0 and after that finding y intercept y intercept while x equals 0 in this time then x equals 0 that lead us to that negative 4y equals 12 okay then divided by negative 4 divided by negative 4 then 12 divided by negative 4 becomes negative 3 this is the second point which is 0 and negative 3 and notice that x equals 0 and y equals negative 3 then we can graph it on the coordinate plane okay this is the first part which is y-axis and after that x-axis okay this is y-axis and this is x-axis the first point was six and zero then one two three four five six and this is six and zero and the second point was zero and negative three negative one negative two negative three this is negative three which is zero and negative three this is the second point after that linking between them linking between these two points 
will represent our line okay that's it I think it's it becomes easier right now <clears throat> what about this example he said what he said the cost of hiring a trailer for t hours is this is the function for cost and by the way it's a linear function because the power to, to the power of one and it's in numerator not in denominator okay c equals 5t plus 10. we have two questions he said find the cost of hiring trailer for four hours and then now we're going to deal with time then instead of t which is the time indicated in the equation you need to find the cost while the time equals four then instead of t you're going to put four and then you're going to find the value or the cost the total cost then five by four becomes 20 and then plus 10 dollars becomes 30 dollars then the cost for hiring a trailer for four hours equals 30 dollars and after that he said what draw the graph of c against t then you need to to graph this part okay we can graph it and he said mark a point on your graph to indicate your answer to a then we have two questions first of all you're gonna graph let's graph it okay this is the y-axis here and after that this is the x-axis okay okay easy peasy okay then this is y and this is x I'll take steps of 5 then 5 and 10 and 15 and here the same 5 and 10 and 15 and so on notice that when when c when t i'm sorry and t stands for x and c related to the y then when t equals 4 the result should be 30. notice this point and here we have a gradient form first of all you're going to mention the 10 which is the y intercept after that we have 5 then 5 over 1 then that means what 5 steps down and 1 to the right then 5 steps down um, I'm sorry 5 5 steps up because it's positive then 5 steps up on y axis and just only one step to the right side then this is the point which is the green point should be here I think it's not clear I think it's not clear but we're gonna deal with it he said 15 this is like the 10 the, yeah this is the first point and this is the second point let's graph it here's the first point and then passing through our second point like that approximately like that and he said when it's four on x-axis should intersect with 30 here is 20 and here 25 and here is 30 then when it's four should intersect with 30 and let me adjust the equation or the the graph let me adjust the graph give me a second okay let me adjust this graph here uh, 20 25 and 30 and this is the new point then the line should passes through these three points which is from this point till here yes okay then this is 20 and this is 25 and this is 30 and this is our point which is 4 and 30 okay then when t equals 4 the cost should equals 30 dollars and this is the line and this is our first point which is 0 and 10 which is y intercept and this is the second point we generated like from passing or moving by five steps up in the positive direction for y axis and just only one step to the right side which is this point the second point now it's your turn to solve these questions and please send me your result your answers on whatsapp thanks for watching this video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh